What's up guys, Professor Showtime here with another exciting episode of Realm of Altars. Guys, we have some breaking news. Red just got a huge nerf. We're going to go over everything in detail. I am super duper excited. Wow. So, before we get into the video at hand, uh, I want to address the last video that I just had. The video that I talked about how to spot a bot. Well, turns out that... I was wrong. That wasn't a bot I was playing. I was playing against an actual person. But if I were a, were a betting man, I would have bet the, the whole ranch that that was a bot. But it wasn't. So all you guys that agreed to me that it was a bot, hey, we were wrong. And those of you guys who pointed it out um very uh emphatically on Discord, I applaud you and I thank you for that. You see, special shout out to Aroga and franpan because they were very adamant in discord saying that hey showtime i was wrong and it wasn't a bot and the developer said it wasn't a bot well guys i was wrong i'm not too big of a person to to say that and i appreciate the feedback and the criticism because you know what it means that you care and so do i and that's going to make this a delightful community where we can respectfully agree and disagree and share our opinions as you guys know, all these videos are my opinion, my personal opinion, and of course I get feedback from you guys as well, but I can take the brunt of it. So, with that out the way, let's talk about the nerfs. So, I'm going to bring it up on the screen so we can read it together. Alright, card adjustments, 1.013. The devs are hard at work. They're making my job as a content creator very difficult. It's so hard to keep up. All right, let's do it. So the skill value has adjusted. They adjusted the shield and the blocker from one to 0.5. Anytime you see the, uh, oh, let me put it on the screen here. Anytime you see the green area, that's what they changed. So you remember when the guys, when they did the huge rework or the the, the big, uh, the big change initially to all rebalancing of all the cards, they stated that they're going to do that based on math. So this is the math. So now they're going to be worth 0.5. I'm not going to pretend like I know what that means. It either means we might see more shield cards or less blocker cards or vice versa. We're going to see. I don't know what 1 to 0.5. I'm not going to pretend that I know. But let's move on. Also, what we're looking at now is a hero adjustment. Now this hero, Ren, Druid Dancer... I think is highly underplayed. I think Ren um, is going to see more play, especially in the next buff. What they did was, uh, you guys know his ability is choose one follower. His follower was give a fo any follower plus one plus one that's on the field, but it only lasted until your turn ended. Now they're changing it and it's going to land uh, last until the enemy's turn end. So that means you can use the follower offensively or defensively as well. Because right now you could give the follower a buff and you can attack into a follower or face. But then when the opponent goes, your stats reverted back. Now it's going to say, hey, you can use the follower defensively, defensively as well. I love the buff. I love the change. The next, the next, uh change is everything else i think is red i think we have one yellow card but everything else is red the first card is raid it was a, a two cost card and it gave a follower dash and then it drew a card now it gives a follower that has six or less attack dash so that's a huge difference and then it draws a card but you see before i didn't see too much of this shenanigan but i could see where it could be broken i mean if you you gave a card that had eight or seven attack, especially if you're playing like a red green deck and you gave like a huge card, a card dash that had a lot of attack. It felt kind of bad, especially in a red green deck, but now they're changing it that the follower has to have six or less attack, which is a welcome change. Next up is dragon's breath or great dragon's breath. The cost was four and it dealt six damage to an enemy follower and the extra damage went to the champion. Now they reduce the cost from four to three. So the cost got reduced, but the doubt, the damage got nerfed. Instead of doing six damage, it's only doing four damage and the excess damage is going to the enemy champion. I still think this card will see, see play. I mean, for the simple fact that they changed the, how much it costs the mana, but 
they decreased the damage. I still think it's going to see play. If they kept the cost at 4 and it dealt 4 damage to enemy follower, it's kind of iffy. But especially, it's not, especially since it's a card that you get drawn from another card, it's not like you put this card in your deck. And also, if you think it's too expensive, you can always use this card as mana fodder. Because this card, like I said, is not put into your deck initially. It's a card that's gained from another card. Next up, we're looking at Sniper. Sniper was a 3 cost card. It dealt 4 damage to an enemy follower. And the excess damage went to the enemy champion. Which we all agreed was really, really strong. But now, what Sniper does, it costs 4. So, like I said, it, it's highlighted in red. So that means it changed. So it costs 4. So it costs more now. And now it only deals 3 damage to an enemy follower. And the excess damage goes to the champion. I still think... Sniper is going to be changed. You know, I mean, it's going to be used. Um, Sniper was a really, really strong card. And I don't see it not being used. It, it's still good. It's still good. Yes, it got nerfed, but it's still good. Now, look at this card. This is one of my favorite card, cards in red. You just kept it in your hand until your opponent plays a big, big blocker. And it destroys it. Previous, it was... Uh, the summon trigger was destroy any blocker. Now let's destroy a blocker that has three or less attack, which is a huge difference. When I looked at this card initially, I was like, oh, well, there's a Hearthstone card like this, and it's a legendary, and I have three in my deck? You know, this is a strong card. Now the card seems a lot more balanced. Destroying a card that has three attack or less, and it's a blocker, it's a niche situation. I don't know off the top of my head how many three attack blocker cards there are in the game. I'm pretty sure we will uh, figure it out, but it got nerfed. I don't. I think it's still going to be played because it's still a three mana card. You know the this this the raw stats are still good. It's just an added benefit that it's able to destroy a blocker card. This card is still going to see play, but it's not super strong like it was before. Draco the King Spear. It was a five mana three five, and they have and it dealt three damage. Now they've adjusted it. Now it has 5 attack. So now it's a 5 mana 5-5, five five, which I think that's what the, cult, the card was initially. I think that was the initial stats. Don't quote me on it. I really don't remember. After the follower wins the battle, deal 2 damage to the enemy champion. This card is still going to see play. The cost is still the same. The attack got buffed. It deals less damage to the champion, less reach damage. So the card is still playable. Of course, it's not as strong as it was initially. You know, but now that they they over nerfed it, right? They nerfed it too hard. And this is a point, right? The developers aren't married to any card, so this is a good thing. Initially they changed it from five mana three five and nobody played it. Now they're changing it to five mana five five and deal two damage instead of doing doing three damage. I think it got a lot stronger, you know, because now it's on curve. Yeah, it's gonna see play still. This is the big card now, guys. Five Colossus. This was everybody's nightmare. By Colossus. It was a 4 mana 3-3. Three, three. Dominant trigger deal 3 damage to all targets. Now, it's a 4 mana 3-3. Three, three. But, in order to use it, you have to release it, not on a red card, on an elemental card. So yes, this will be great in red-green decks. But it's a lot to it's a lot now. Now it's not as easy to play. You can't just play it four mana three three. And now it does three damage not to all targets, but only to all followers. So no more reach potential, no more burn potential that it's hitting your opponent's face for the three damage. It's only dealing damage to the followers. Fire Colossus. Don't know if they're gonna see you in uh red decks. We will see if any red green elemental decks pop up. With the Earth Giant, because that's also elemental. I see some synergy there. You guys are the best deck builders in the game. We will see going forward. Next up, Dragon's Blessing. Shield Trigger. Put a dragon from your deck to your shield. It, it went from a 5 cost to a 4 cost. We'll see. We'll see if the dragon decks uh, come into play. We will see. Oh, this card right here. See, that card didn't see too much play, but time will tell. But this card right here. Kata the Blue Flame. 
four mana three two and it, it destroyed an enemy follow that had three or less attack and it had dash super strong card auto include in any red deck now they changed it that it's going to destroy follow that has two attack or less which is a huge difference but it's still a strong card it still has dash we're still st still going to see play it's a four mana card that does three damage and leaves a body behind it's still going to see play if it can do it destroy a three attack card is great if now it's only destroying a two a two attack card it's still going to going to see play next up haiti the hound this is one of my favorite cards that i want to see play you know right now we're not getting too much haiti haiti the hound well we're seeing it but we're not seeing its full potential because red has so many good cards um it was a two mana two one with dash meaning it, it can attack the same turn it's played but the great thing about that is that it returns to your hand after it's played so it's not like or after it attacks actually it returns to your hand at the end of your turn so it was a cool card if your opponent didn't have any blocker minions i mean blocker followers you could just go face or if you just want to trade into a minion but now they raise the cost to three so it costs three and, is, and it can do two damage but it has dash i still think it's going to see play time will tell of course it's not going to be as effective as before but we will see next up we're going to discuss the red mage it was a four cost card and it did it was a two four now it's a three cost card and its uh body is two three the this in my opinion this is a, a huge buff because in order for red mage to get value what you have to do is play other cards see the some the the effect of red mage is after you play a card deal two damage randomly to split split among all targets at four cost it was hard to do that because uh, you took up more mana at three cost i think you'll have more wiggle room or more extra mana to do damage on the same turn that red mage is played so i think we're going to see huge red mage plays this is just my knee-jerk reaction, of course. But all in all, red got nerfed. But it's still, in my opinion, it's still going to be playable. And in my opinion, it's still going to be the strongest deck. Now, like I said, warning. Reviews and expressions are showtimes and showtimes alone. It's my opinion. I think red is still super strong. Time will tell, though, because we have no idea. Um, Before when red got nerfed, I said, hey, red is going to be a board control um deck or board control class but it's still going to see play and i like i said i was half right it was a board control class but it still went face so i'm going to go out on a limb again and say red is still going to see play and red is still going to be strong but just a knee-jerk reaction this is why without any testing this is just theory next up we got yellow dragon curse knight it was a seven mana two seven they changed the blocker i haven't looked at this um yet seven mana two seven shield trigger this follower can't attack the champion at the end of your turn if this follower did not attack destroy enemy follower that has two attack or less now it's a seven mana four seven so that's what they changed it's a four seven and now it's a blocker Ooh, ooh, i like that seven mana four seven blocker that's huge that's a huge buff you guys know i like blocker decks so this this could do this could be something this could do something at the end of your turn if the follower did not attack destroy an enemy blocker uh the so blocker versus blocker i don't know i kind of like this one a little bit more the first the how it was before at the end of your turn if this follower did not attack destroy an enemy follower that has two attack or less now it's uh destroy an enemy blocker so now you play a blocker to destroy a blocker Maybe we're going to be in the blocker meta. Time will tell. Time will tell. Egg of Dissension, the incredible egg. Uh, it was a three cost card. Reduce the cost of the highest card in your hand by one and mana charger, right? So it's still a three cost card. Reduce the highest cost card in your deck by two, in your hand by two, and it's a mana charger. All right. So I remember the original egg, one mana take away minus three from the highest card in your hand now let's take away two all right so egg is going to see play now because how they because they over nerfed it before in my opinion they over nerfed it and it saw no play now they're making it kind of balanced it's a net two and it has mana charger egg is egg is going to see play 
in yellow decks, definitely. And okay, what do we got now? Miracle Faith. Six cost shield trigger. Put the top card of your deck to your shield area. If you have five or more yellow mana, put another an, another top card from your deck to your shield area in addition. This card saw no play. Now it's gonna be now it's a four cost card. Okay, yes. Yes. This is so check this out. This is a four cost card. Roll two cards and put it on your shield. Yep, it works. It works, it works. And it's a shield trigger card, so it could be free. Alright. Huge buff to Miracle Faith. Ava the Divine Innocence. Alright, is it was a five cost four four. Released on a friendly Valkyrie or Angel Follower. Restore five health to your champion. Yes. Deal three damage to both champions. Yes. If your champion has ten or less health, put Ava the Divine Innocence from your graveyard back to your hand. Alright. Now they've changed it to Okay, yeah, this was my, my beef before. It was hard to evolve, right? Because it was only able to evolve um evolve or release on an angel or valkyrie. Now it can re release on an angel or any yellow follower. So this is huge, right? When you have high rarity cards, you want them to be easily playable. And before it was hard to play on it, play it because you had to have a dedicated angel or valkyrie deck. Now you can simply put it on any yellow follower or angel. Now also it has after you use your champion skill, deal three damage to both champions. Okay, so instead of it instead of that being your active, it's after you use your champion skill. All right, I like the change. I like the change a lot. Ava just got a buff, so if you guys have Ava, it's going to be super much more easier to put it put Ava in your deck. All right, Uriel the Executioner. It was a two mana two three. Release on one of your yellow followers. Deal two damage to all the other followers that has a light seal on it. Now instead, it's do two damage to all enemy followers. So no need no need to have light seal. Okay, and it's only a two mana card. So two mana deal two damage to all followers. Leave behind a two three body. No need to worry about the light seal shenanigans. I like the buff. I like the buff to Uriel. He was played before. He's definitely going to be played now. Raphael the Healer, this card underrated, 2 cost card, 2-3, two, release on one of your friendly yellow followers, put the top card of your deck to your shield area, that's what it was before, now it's a 2 cost 2-3, two, release on one of your friendly yellow followers, restore 5 health to your own champion, okay, I know I made a comment about this card before, and the reason I made a comment is like, hey, Raphael the Healer doesn't heal. <laughs> okay, we got our wish. Raphael the Healer actually heals now. So we got our heal card. It, it restores 5 health to your, to your champion. Alright, but it's a little bit hard, hard to play because you have to evolve it. You know, I know I'm griping now. It's only a 2 mana card. I do wish that I didn't have to release on the yellow follower. It, it might be easy. We'll see how yellow plays. We'll see. But I'm glad we have a heal card in the game now, especially Raphael the healer. I know I made a joke like, hey, this card is a healer, but it doesn't heal. I'm glad it heals now. Okay, we're looking at green. Green got nothing. Guys, this is my first time looking at this. So if I'm going through it slowly, it's because I'm trying to take it in with you. All right, purple. I mean, they didn't touch green and they didn't touch blue. All right, purple. Let's see what they did to my purple. Merlin. Merlin King Arthur. All right, Merlin. Four cost two three. For Merlin, they just made it super easy for you to apply it in seal to your hand. They streamlined it a little bit. Now Leela. So Leela, everybody talked about Leela was so broken before, especially using Leela with the egg, and that's true. What did they change? So instead of releasing on a mage or a monster follower, they said release it on a mage or a purple follower. I guess the monster decks weren't enough, weren't strong enough. Or weren't relevant enough. I like it. Make it easier to evolve. So like I said, with the higher rarity cards, you want them to be easier to evolve or easier to be played, I should say. Okay, Sound of Despair. It was a 7 cost 6-5. After this follower attacks, reduce the cost of a random spell in your hand by 5. Or at the end of your turn, if this follower didn't attack, give a random enemy follower a minus 5 attack. They changed it from 7 mana 6-5 to 6 mana 5-4. Immediate, I would say it's a buff. 
You know, I mean, they changed, they lowered the mana cost, but they raised. I mean, they yeah, they lowered the, the mana cost and they lowered the attack value and the health. So I would say it's a buff. It's easier to play. You can play it with less mana. I would say it's a buff. No, it's not a big body, which you want because you want this to trigger twice. You want it, you want its effect to trigger twice. So five health is much bigger than four health. But I like the change nevertheless. And that wraps it up. Initially, I thought that it was only red that got a nerf, but there are so many other changes as well. Time will tell to see how this looks. The good news is green was untouched and blue was untouched. So if you guys play red, I mean, if you guys play green or blue decks, you guys can play the same. Of course, you're gonna have to adjust because the competition is gonna be different. There were many nerfs to red, but I'll go out on a limb just like I did last time and say red is still going to be playable. We are still going to see red decks. Just They just won't be as strong as before. And Fire Colossus probably won't see too much play. Guys, if you like the content, you guys know what to do. Peace. That was fun. That was amazing. See you guys next time. Oh, and the big winner this time is that they're friendly matches. Stay tuned. We're going to be able to pick our servers now. As you guys know, I'm on the US West server. Last thing I saw on Discord was uh, people trying to figure out what time they normally play. If you guys are playing on the US West server or you guys plan to pick the US West server, just if you guys get a chance, just jot down in the comment section what time are you going to be playing. And of course, you can use Pacific Coast time, you can use Eastern time, you can use Central time, whatever time zone. We're smart enough to figure out what time what time it is. Just put the time zone as well, if you can, if you have time. Peace, guys. See you next time.